want to do a quick recap here of my trades uh, Friday June 23rd this here first up is AMD AMD opened up below right at the level I was keeping an eye on here uh, the this big dip down here below I did not take an entry on that actual opening range push however I waited for a little bit of consolidation came in put in a red uh, hammer candle here good risk reward area got in wrote it up to the high end of the range where it did find some resistance ended up going up a little bit higher throughout the day so I did leave some on the table here but overall it was a good trade there next up was Netflix Netflix ended up taking two trades in the uh, in the stock today opened up and sold off pretty hard broke below the level I was watching here but put in a pipe bottom uh, that is a reversal type of pattern here at a previous low uh, support and that confirmed enough for me to go ahead and take a position in the trade volume doesn't necessarily confirm but the tape also uh, was fast enough to go ahead and let me know to get into a position uh, it did trail me out here when I saw a lot of sellers here put in a wide ranging doji bar kind of scared me out of a position um, that's a that's a rookie mistake and I should not have done that however such is the case I got out for a small gain uh, came up here consolidated at the opening range high and broke above when something like that does occur, I'm almost always willing to go ahead and take that trade. Nice risk to reward, 155.07 versus 154.80. About 25 cents risk is not too bad at all. Wrote it up as far as I could until a significant amount of sellers did start coming in and hammering the tape. Looked like it was going to fail at this upper wick up here. As it turns out, uh, Netflix has gone flying quite a bit higher throughout the day. So I did leave some on the table there. I do like the setup here for a little bit of a longer term play as it's now breaking out of the range. Uh, uh, it's going to close, or it looks like it's going to close over top of the 8 and 21 period exponential moving average on the end of the day. We'll see what happens. Next up here is Nike. Nike opened up low, sold off, pushed down below the level I was watching here. First green candle that came in was too tall for me to even consider trading against. Uh, after that, put in two inside bars, which tells me there was a little, dis a little direction at that point, and just kind of waited for my setup. Once it reclaimed that level again, went ahead, took a position in, and rode it up as hard as I could until it looked like there were more sellers on the tape. Went ahead and got out with my, with my profits. Uh, next up was PayPal. PayPal was a very long trade, very slow trade. Um, Opened up, just kind of trotted around back and forth a little bit, put in a green hammer candle on that second five-minute candle, triggered me in just above, and looked like it was going to reverse on this second candle. Did not let fear get the best of me and rode it up throughout the rest of the day. Ended up closing a little while ago. Uh, had a couple of to potential topping candles. It had zero follow-through, but once it did finally officially get a break below a red candle, that was my trigger to go ahead and get out. Overall, I had four stocks on my watch today. They all ended up being winners.